welcome on in to North Dakota today on this gorgeous Wednesday morning. I'm Sophia Richards. I'm Janine Larson. Well, we have someone new on the couch. Welcome, Janine. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for being here. And as we know, Ashlyn is in Florida for the week, jealous. But we have our special guest host to fill in. Again, we are welcoming Janine Larson. Well, we're so happy to have you on the show. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I live here in West Fargo and am married, have two kids. My daughter is in eighth grade and my son is in fifth grade. And we just had our own March Madness Cute. where we were ending with a end of the season basketball tournament. Lots of sports in our family basketball. Track and field is going on Ooh, right now. Yes. And volleyball, all sorts of sports. Yes. And it's a lot of fun. Anything to keep you busy, huh? Very busy. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we're so happy to have you. Like I said, you're going to be filling in this week and then next week also when I'm in Hawaii. Oh my gosh. I'm still working on my hula, you guys. I have a long way to go, but <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. That will be amazing. Yes. And you said you've been before, right? I have. It is. It feels like you're on another planet. Yes. Well, I think anything. I mean, it's been nice weather here so far, but you know, getting into some mountains, away from the flatland here. I mean, obviously yes. I love it here, but I'm excited to see. Somewhere different and yes. the ocean, mm -hmm. it's just, it's beautiful. When you get back, I'm so excited to hear what you think about it. I know, I'm really excited. Hopefully gonna come back with a nice tan. It should be fun. Yes, Yes. very fun. Well, again, we are so happy to have you and thanks for being here. Yes, excited to be here and help out and meet so many wonderful people in our community that we'll have on the show. Yes, absolutely. Well, something else fun going on today, in case you need another reason to love on your four-legged friends, April 10th, you guys, is National Hug Your Dog Day. Those extra cuddles are beneficial for both of you. Hugging your dog releases a feel-good hormone called oxytocin in both humans and pups, giving you and your canine a little boost and your bond. Other ways to show your love, take Fido on an extra long walk to the dog park or take a trip to the ice cream parlor for a doggy Sunday. How cute. Those are all great ideas. Yes, absolutely. And I know that you have a special furry friend. I do, so my dog, her name is Najee, and she went on a five-mile bike ride Cute. yesterday. <laughs> she doesn't know what personal space is, but yep. that's okay. We love her. She's pretty fun, and so we love on our dog all the time, and I know how many dog and cat lovers there are out there. Yes, Today's definitely. Today's going to be a fun day, and you have one, too. I do, you yes. Have two. Well, I have two. They are our farm pups, so I actually found this photo of me hugging one of them, so that's Pinto in my arms and then Zoe who is just right behind. I think Zoe was a little bit jealous of this moment. Oh but. yes. Okay, so remind me one more time of your dog's name. So her name is Najee. Okay, and you have a kind of a unique story behind that, right? So my kiddos <laughs> named her and they named her after a football player, Okay. Najee Harris. Interesting. And so she's the only Najee I know here in the Fargo morning yeah. area. Maybe there's another one and I just don't know, but yes. Um, and she goes with her, her name. She likes to run. Okay, cute. Yeah, that is pretty unique. Well, Pinto's just named after the bean. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, farm And your pup. other one, what was the other name? Zoe. Zoe. Yes. And just a fun name? Yes, my little sister named her. Okay. I don't really know where it came from. We call her Zobug, though. That's, so she's a little cutie. That Our is farm very pups. fun. And they'll get lots of hugs and kisses today. Absolutely. Yes, get some love. And it's so nice out, so going on that walk, going yes. to get that pup cup, going to get that ice cream yes. on that bike ride. I know, I can't get over a five mile bike ride and the pup made it the whole way. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm tired just thinking about that, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting! Well, switching gears a little bit, our live reporter Tatum this morning had a really interesting story that we wanted to share with all of you. So seven years ago, a small business owner named Mallory was watching Monday Night Football when a TV commentator talked about Carson Wentz saying he's just not tough, he's North Dakota tough. So yes, Tatum Miller met up with Mallory this morning to talk about the process of creating her own business. Let's take a look. I basically line it up and then I use this pedal down here, the machine moves, it'll press that. So as it's pressing that, then I... Um, would load my second item. So we can do two at once, yep. how efficient. Yep, yep. And what's the largest order completed with this machine? Uh, with this machine, I just on Sunday did um, 100 shirts front and back. 
So God. that's just with this machine. Um, like in total, probably I did one. That was about 700 items. Um, so. 700 items. Yep, and yep. How long did it take you to do 100 order with this machine? So this machine front and back for those 100 shirts took 45 minutes. Previously, that would have taken me probably a couple days because it was all manual before. And your like your body can only take so much and you have to have so much pressure on those machines. Absolutely. So huge difference. So basically once it presses one time, you remove the film and then you put um, a piece of parchment paper over it and you press it again. So as that one's pressing, then I can peel the image on this one. And these are kind of a brand new one. It's a glitter um, type of a transfer. Sparkly. Yeah. So cute. Yep. <laughs> and then again, same thing, um, cover it up. And then I tag everything. Um, it's just got my, my contact information and washing instructions, just so everybody has that. So this has gotten a lot easier for you. Thank you so much for that sneak peek behind yeah. the scenes of your process. Well, how fun. She is certainly North Dakota tough. Yes, definitely. Well, we have the statistic, 50% of small businesses fail within five years, but not her. And I believe that she even started out in her garage. Oh my goodness. Which and is really see how neat. how far she's come. Yes. And how far she's gonna go. She, right, yeah, I think the potential is the exciting thing too. Yes, and just to see a small business succeed and grow, Love seeing that. Yes, absolutely. Well, I also have an exciting announcement for you guys this morning. So if you've been tuning in, then you'll know that I am nominated for the YWCA Women of the Year. And, you know, Janine has an interview a little bit later in the show, but they released our headshots very recently. So I just wanted to share this. The event is on April 22nd, and it's hilarious because <laughs> I am getting back from Hawaii the day before at like 11 a.m. Oh and gosh. then the event is Monday night. So I get back on a Sunday and then the event is Monday and I fly into Minneapolis and the event is obviously in Fargo. So thoughts and prayers, you guys. I really hope nothing is delayed and everything so I can obviously still make it, but I'm just very, very excited. This is such an honor. And like I mentioned, you're gonna get all the details later in the show. And congratulations. Thank what you. What an honor to be honored for Woman of the Year. Yes, I am so, so, so excited. This is just, I actually had it on my goals list. Oh, wow. Yeah, from last year and I found it randomly. I had it written in a notebook and I was like, oh my gosh, nominated for YWCA Woman of the Year. And now it happened. So write down your goals, guys. It yes. really works. <laughs> yes, and that's amazing to celebrate all those wonderful yes. women and you being one of those. So we'll be cheering you on and you're going to be refreshed and so happy yes, when you get back from yes. Hawaii <laughs> and just roll right on in to, yes. to the event. I like that word, refreshed. Hopefully we're going for refresh, not jet lagged, yes. but you know, I'll be tan either way, so it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We still have a jam-packed show ahead. And you know, coming up on today's show, we are chatting with an exciting wedding venue. That's after the break. <laughs>